I'm okay. I'm okay. Hello, every. No. Hello, every. Okay. This is gonna be the one. This is gonna be the one. Hello. That wasn't the one. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley, if you didn't already know and happy new year. So today's video, I'm gonna run through all of my holy grail products from 2021. I've done, I've done like best of beauty makeup favorites in past years, a long, long time ago. Please don't go back and watch, very embarrassing. <laughs> but this year I wanted to do something a little bit different. So I'm not gonna be going through like every category of thing and trying to pick my favorite. I'm literally only picking things that I used on a daily basis or I discovered that I now use regularly in my routine. And we're gonna do beauty favorites and also a few fashion favorites. So get ready, cause I'm super excited. But I wanna play a little game before we go any further. Pause this video right now and comment down below what products you think are gonna be part of this video. If you follow me on Instagram or TikTok and you kinda of know my routine or know things I always talk about, comment below. What do you think it's gonna be? But yeah, we've got a lot of stuff to go through, so let me not ramble on any longer and let's jump into my 2021 faves. Let's go through my beauty favorites first and foremost. You guys probably saw this one coming, the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I literally use this Look, I mean, look at the bottle. You can tell how much I use this. It is the only primer that matters to me. I do have like a million other primers in my drawer, but like when I really actually want my makeup to look good, stay all day, if I'm going out on a night out, this is the primer I use and I will tell you why. It is the only thing that actually sticks your makeup to your face. It's hydrating. So if even if you have dry skin, like a lot of long wearing primers can be super like matte and drying. This is actually super hydrating, but it's not gonna make you oily either. When you put it on your face, you literally feel it get like sticky and grippy so you know your makeup is just gonna stick to it and it's just honestly amazing it's my favorite primer in the world I actually did elf just released a dupe for this and if you go check out my tiktok you can see how I feel about it I'm not gonna tell you right now that's a shameless plug for my tiktok go over there although everybody everybody that follows me on tiktok probably already follows me or everybody that follows me on here probably already follows my tiktok but if you don't go watch the tiktok so you can see if the elf dupe is worth it but this one, it's been in my routine regularly. I don't, I'm not gonna say I use this every day because I like to try new things, but definitely the most used primer of all of them. Maybe ever, not just 2021, maybe ever. Like I never go through primers and this one is like my third bottle and I have the mini for when I travel, necessary. Okay, another one that you guys probably see coming, the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. If you are a stand for the Laura Mercier, it's because you haven't tried this yet. I know everybody and their mother uses the Laura Mercier Loose Powder and I've tried it so many times. I've tried to love it, but for like, this one's like $6 and it's honestly so much better. It also comes in like six different shades or something. I use the shade 10, I used to use five, but it got too fair for me. I actually use five today. Don't even get me started on my makeup today. It is not its usual best because I use brushes instead of a sponge and I use different, pro I don't know what I was thinking. It's a full filming day and I'm like trying new shit. Why, why did I do that? Anyway, so I use the shade 10 and it is beautiful. Like this powder is like the last step of my makeup routine that made, that makes everything just look completely airbrushed, completely flawless, sets everything in place. Like it's just the best loose powder in the world. And it's only like $6. I've gone through probably five of these this year and it's a big tub. That just shows you how much I love it. Um, I even like, I usually, they need to make a travel size of this because it's like so clunky to travel with, but I also could just get like a little container. So yeah. The Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. If you haven't tried it, go do it. It's a very affordable drugstore product, but it is high-end quality. And for all my girls that have darker skin tones, they make darker shades for you. So you don't have to look like a ghost because translucent powder on darker skin is very hard to actually look translucent. So I actually love that these have a little bit of a tint to it and it makes your makeup look so flawless. Okay, next up. You guys know I live for a fluffy brow. I was doing silk brows for a lot of 2021, but it got to be very, um, one, messy because I had to get a spray bottle to the bar, soap to thing. It, it got to be a lot. And also they were like a little bit too crunchy. They were a little bit too stuck up, you know, like I needed something a little bit more natural. 
Um, so when Anastasia Beverly Hills released this brow freeze, I was skeptical at first. I was like, there's nothing that's gonna compare to just regular old soap. And the first time I tried it, I didn't really know one what I was doing. It wasn't the same texture as soap. So I was like, no, it's not any good. But then the more I used it, the more I got the hang of it. And it's honestly the best product. Product? It is the best product to put on your brows to stick them up to give you that fluffy brow look without it feeling completely like, I don't know what, what does soap brows make your brows feel like? I don't know like crispy yeah crispy it doesn't make your brows feel too too crispy but they still stay up and look nice and fluffy and yeah it's just great so i apply this first before i apply actual product and it just lays them down it does the job i just take a little spoolie one two three and we're good it's also a lot quicker than soap brows because the soap has to dry and it's a whole thing speaking of brows my favorite brow product of the year definitely had to be the nyx lift and snatch i am an avid uh, brow marker lover i don't like brow pencils i don't like brow powders pomades no i like a marker because it literally draws little hair strokes a lot of times they're a lot more sheer than um than other products so you can get a more natural look while still making it look super defined. The one I'm using right now is the shade Taupe. I started off with Ash Brown, but listen, I used it last week after a while of like, I don't know what I was using. I don't know, I used it last week and all of a sudden I looked like Elmer Fudd, I don't know what happened. So I had to go get a lighter color and I got Taupe and she's working great. She's a good color. She's a little bit more red toned, but she's still good. Oh, the Anastasia brow pen is good too, but it dried out really quick. And this one is so much cheaper, which is why I put it in my favorites because I've bought like literally 10 of these this year and they're amazing. And I didn't even buy 10 of them because they kept running out. I just was crazy. I was like, what if it gets discontinued? Like I need it. So NYX Lift and Snatch, the best brow product ever. You need it. Next up is my cream contour routine. This duo right here is undefeated. The Milk Baked Matte Bronzer Stick. The only downside to this is that it's only one shade. So like only so many people can use it. I'm gonna need milk to like come out with this in a few darker shades and even maybe one lighter because super fair women would, this might be a little bit too dark, um, but it's the best contour product in the world. I literally went on a hunt for months for the Charlotte Tilbury uh, contour wand. I was like, no, that's it. Like the milk is good, but I know the Charlotte Tilbury is gonna be the one. It was not the one, I still, the Milk Rain Supreme. I also definitely got this at TJ Maxx for like $10. Is it expired? Maybe. But is half of my makeup collection expired? Also maybe. So whatever. Um, and then, okay, so the trick is, I was using the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Something Brush for a lot of the year, but then, but then this brush came into my life. Actually, I've had this brush for a long time. I just never really used it. Um, it's the It Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe Number no. 7 brush. And the reason this is so good for contour is because it's got this really nice little fluffy dome brush. So you can go in and buff. So basically, I just tap, tap, tap on top of the stick. And then you just, you know, go contour your cheekbones, your forehead, under your jawline. And then you flip it, right? You do a little dab, dab, dab. Dab, dab, dab. And then you can contour under your, your lip and contour your nose and it's perfect. It's all in one brush. It blends it out absolutely beautifully. And like literally this combo is undefeated. I, I don't know that I'll ever use anything else to contour in my life. I'm also pissed that I spent like 30 bucks on that Charlotte Tilbury thing, but that's another story. Next up, Kevin Akon Sensual Skin Enhancer. So I recently did a video on my TikTok and on my Instagram of how I cover up all of my redness, my dark circles, really all of my blemishes and have them look completely flawless with, I would like to say like not as much foundation as you necessarily would think. And that is because of this product right here, Kevin Aquan Sensual Sun Enhancer. I've had this for years and I've only really made a real dent in it this year, but I use it every single day to uh, conceal under my eyes. It's in the shade SX09, which is a really nice peachy shade. So it really counteracts the darkness. Putting a darker concealer than your skin tone over blemishes also really helps counteract um, the blemish. Basically, you would think that it's gonna look like hot spots under your skin, but if you blend it out the right way and you do it the right way, go check out my Instagram and my TikTok for that tutorial, or I could do one on here. Let me know down below if you wanna see that, um, like a more in-depth one. Um, it really counteracts it and everything looks completely flawless. Like, it's really amazing. This stuff is like a, it's like a concentrated pigment. So you literally just need like a little dab, a dab will do ya. 
and that's all you need to cover up your entire face. You can also mix this with like a moisturizer or like some kind of emollient thing. I've seen people mix it with primers too to create like a foundation. So it's a really nice like multitasker product, but this has been like my color corrector, high coverage concealer love of my life. I love it so much. This year I got really into powder foundation and not just like to set your makeup, like a full on powder foundation routine. Also let me know if you'd like to see a video of that because I can do my full powder foundation routine if you guys would like. I can get your face to look just as beat as if you're wearing a full coverage liquid foundation with just a powder foundation. And this one is the one. This is the one. I've tried probably like six different powder foundations this year and the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear definitely took the cake. When I first started the powder foundation routine thing, I was stuck on the Maybelline Superstay, but then this came out and it went like viral on TikTok and of course I had to try it. And um, I love her. So I wear the shade 130 True Beige and it's broken because I loved it that much, literally hit so much fan on this. It's a really great powder foundation. It's also really good to touch up your makeup throughout the day because it doesn't really look cakey. Like it's full coverage, but it doesn't look too, I don't know. It doesn't look like too much on the skin. It just really is beautiful. It does last all day. And if you do the right like concealing hacks, like I will show you if you guys want that video, you can really get a nice, perfect full coverage look with just this powder. This one's a 10 out of 10. Seriously, if you guys haven't, I, I feel like powder foundation is like so underrated. Like nobody actually does it as like their full routine. But if you, especially if you have oily skin, get on it, get on it, girl. You need this. So that is it for the beauty favorites. Now let's get into some fashion favorites. A few of which I'm wearing right now. We'll start off with this necklace. I got this on Amazon. It's a little A. And if you were wondering, yes, they have every initial, so don't you worry. Got it on Amazon. It was very, very, very inexpensive. I've worn this in the water. I've worn this overnight. It's never turned green. It's really, really high quality. And it's the cutest little thing ever. It's like also a perfect length. Like I love that it's like longer but not too long. It's just a really good necklace to wear alone. Layer, because you guys know I love layering necklace. Because you guys know I love layering necklaces, this one has been my staple. I've worn this necklace more than any other this entire year, and you guys all need it, seriously. I've put so many people onto this necklace, and you need it too. You need it too, boo. Okay, the other one that I'm wearing right now, Yummy Body Suits. I know, if you know, you know. If you know, you know. The girls that get it, get it. The girls that, listen. Yummy body suits. So the reason I love these, and they are my favorite company in the world to work with, like we've got a tight bond now because I love these body suits so much. They have built-in shapewear. So not only are you putting on like a really cute bodysuit, but there's a tummy control panel, snatchifies you. There's actually like some uh, slimming effects in the arms. So like no little chicken arm. You're just nice and tight and snatched and compact. <laughs> And I wear them all the freaking time. I have every color, every style they have. I have all of the yummy body suits and seriously, you need them. So I'm gonna, I mean, everything's gonna be linked down below, but I'll also have a coupon code for these specifically down below. Get yourself 20% off because they are a little bit pricier, but they have the built-in shapewear. They're like an investment piece. When I tell you I wear these, I don't wanna say every day because I have other clothes, but like at least once a week. I wear a yummy bodysuit at least once a week, a lot of times more than once a week. So they're amazing. They have a lot of styles and and more and more of their styles are going up to size 3X. I've been pushing for that really, really heavily to get more uh, plus size options in their line. Literally every day they're expanding all of their items to be up to size 3X. So that's incredible. Gotta, sh gotta shout them out. So. Yeah, yummy bodysuits. Super fave. Probably my number one fashion fave of the year. Okay, and the moment you guys have all been waiting for, my favorite jeans. My Not just my favorite jeans of the year, my favorite jeans ever. That might change, but for right now, for right now, my favorite jeans, you guys ask me all the time, Ashley, what are your favorite jeans? You've tried a lot of jeans. What are your favorite jeans? I'm about to tell you, are you ready? You probably guessed it though. <laughs> Abercrombie Curve Love. I mean, did you expect anything else? Listen, I know we have all, we've all been personally victimized by Abercrombie. I'm sorry. It, it's just like a part of growing up as a millennial. Abercrombie and Fitch has traumatized you at least once. Well, guess what? They did a whole rebrand and now not only are they size inclusive, they're body positive and they're curvy girl friendly. Yes, you heard it here first. Actually, you probably already heard because I talk about it all the fucking time. Um, 
but the Abercrombie Curve Love jeans line has taken my breath away. Seriously, these are my favorite jeans in the entire world, specifically the 90 straight ultra high rise and the dad jean. I can't, I'm pretty sure it's just the dad jean, the Curve Love dad jean. Oh my God, they're so good. They're just, they're, and what I love about it is that they're so curvy girl friendly while still being like a nice solid kind of rigid denim but not too rigid. Like they're rigid, they're just rigid enough to be like a good structured jean, not a jegging, cause I'm over jeggings, I'm over it. I want my jeans to look like jeans and feel like jeans, but still be comfortable enough for my curves to be in them. And they like freaking, I don't know what kind of science they have in this, but they nailed it. It hugs your curves. It has the, it has the perfect amount of stretch that it's not going to like squish your butt or like flatten you out but still looks like a good rigid pair of jeans. It just literally hugs your curves perfectly. There's no waist gap. They have up to sizes 22, I think. I think they're up to size 22. I wear a size 33, which equals out to like a 14 or a 16, I believe. And they're incredible. If you haven't tried on a pair of Abercrombie Curve Love jeans yet, run to your nearest mall, order them online. Do what you gotta do, girl. You need them. This is actually a highlight of my year. I was actually featured in the Washington Post being interviewed about the Abercrombie Curve Love jeans. So, go me. They came to my house and everything. They took pictures. It was like the coolest moment of my life. Anyway, they also didn't pay me though. They didn't pay me to say any of this. I'm hoping they will because I really stand for them. I'm really trying to get that deal. Um, they didn't pay me to say that, but they're my favorite. Okay, probably my most worn pair of shoes in the entire year. Birkenstocks, yes. I am that old granola mom that wears her Birks everywhere. I actually got my Birks on Amazon. They sell them on there. Um, they're not any cheap or anything, but you know, they have like all the options and it's, you know, two day shipping, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, Birkenstocks. I wear a size seven. They do run kind of big because I got the size eight and they were like huge. These are like the soft touch bottom ones. I'm gonna leave the exact ones down below, but just get yourself a pair of Birkenstocks. Just get them. Wear them with socks if it's cold out. Wear them to walk the dog. Wear them to Target. I wear them everywhere. Like in the winter, they're kind of my like house shoes. And then in the summer, they're my everyday shoe. I don't leave the house without my Birks. They're amazing. They're like, they're kind of like Uggs in the sense that like, they're so ugly that they're cute. You know what I mean? So I just got the plain black with the black buckle. Who knows what, I think the next pair I want to get is white. I think I'm going to do a white pair. Maybe like a metallic. They make some, they make really cute ones and they're so comfortable. They're so comfortable. I love them, Birkenstocks. And then you guys know I'm the sneaker queen. I'm trying to be anyway. Um, and my favorite sneakers. I have re-fallen in love with Nike Dunks. Haven't worn Dunks since, I wanna say like my first year of college. And these, these black and white ones are definitely my most worn. They're looking a little hit. Um, so comfortable, so cute. You can pair them with so many different things. I feel like the Dunk is like the step up from the Air Force One. Like everybody and their mom is wearing an Air Force One. It's a little basic. If you wanna be basic, that's fine. But if you wanna just be a little more elevated, get yourself a Dunk. Or my last pick, hold on. So you elevated from the Dunk. And then the next level, Jordan 1's high tops. Cause listen, you can't do a high top dunk and you can't do a low top one. That's just the rule. Although I do have one pair of low top ones and I do have a mid pair of dunks, but that's just kind of like the, it, it's very tricky. Just listen, just this is the golden rule. Low top dunks, high top ones. That's just the rule. These are probably my favorite ones of the year. I love the yellow with the neon and the black. They just, and then the bottom is like not all the way white. So this just goes, I know it's like bright, but it actually goes with a lot of outfits and I've worn, it, worn them a lot. But listen, I love sneakers and these were definitely my two favorites of the year, which is funny because they look so similar. But you pair it with jeans, you can pair it with a dress, you can pair it with literally anything stretchy like flare leggings. I love sneakers and these were my two favorite. That's it. Okay, you guys, those were my favorites of 2021. I know that wasn't like too much stuff, 
but that really goes to show that I really narrowed it down to all of my actual favorites, the things that really carried me through the year that I absolutely loved. Um, everything that I talked about will be linked down below for you guys to easily shop. So don't you worry about it. I'm also for like the jeans and stuff, I'm gonna be putting my sizes so you guys have a sizing reference. But yeah, you guys, that is going to be it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comments what some of your favorites for the year were. What were you living for, loving, everything like that. If you're new here and you have not yet hit the subscribe button, you can click that down below and join our family. You can also follow me over on Instagram and TikTok. I'm super Ashley127 on all of my platforms. I love you all so much. I hope you have a fabulous 2022 and I will see you in my next video.